It's year 2030. Autonomous vehicles flood the streets, bringing great efficiency and convenience into the transportation industry. No one owns a car, but anyone can order a car that will pick him or her up in a matter of moments and safely transport it where they want without human intervention. And we are about to introduce you to the next business model to thrive in this ecosystem. The average American spends 290 hours or 35 working days per year driving. This means five years of your life are dedicated to driving. With AVs, this time can be invested in productive or leisure activities in the car and a general purpose vehicle may not be able to satisfy all different wants of people commuting. So we developed the concept of modular specialized vehicles. In this vision, the customer opens the app of the leading AV company and orders a car. If he instantly wants to travel, the car will come right away with its standard equipment of screens and basic entertainment and connectivity options and minimum personalization based on your profile settings. And this is nothing new. Alternatively, you are giving the option to someone a specialty vehicle, one that will address specific needs you might have while you are commuting. For instance, you might want to get a lot of work done, so the car will come equipped with a desk and special office devices. Or you might want a nice massage on your way back from work. But how do we do efficiently operate a huge fleet of super customizable cars? Without having excessive idle capacity and satisfying all customer needs? Create modular cars that are equipped to satisfy the most diverse of needs, from entertainment to workstation, by interchanging the flexible module while keeping the core, like wheels, engine, CPU, in place in specialized garages. We're talking about a mini factory with a lot of boxes that are ready for different specific use cases and are as particular car is required, the perfect box will be installed on the main core and delivered to the customer. This exchange is operated as the cars return to the factory for regular maintenance. The factories are strategically positioned across the country and partnerships are made with experienced designers and service suppliers, such as restaurants, if the customer wants to enjoy dinner while commuting. So what is the business model? Customers will pay for what they get. AVs will become cheaper than walking, so why not pay a premium for special services? This creates more time for customers to do what they want, including spend money, so create in-car experiences that they value. Offer food, massage, video games, movies, as they go. There are, of course, some assumptions. AV reach a certain level of maturity and critical mass of users are stable, reliable and widespread enough to enjoy new experiences in the car. Customers are willing to pay a premium to get extra services in their cars. Accidents are not a threat anymore, allowing travelers to really relax. Residentialization instead of urbanization. If AV becomes so convenient, we might see an intervision of the urbanization trend where people will be more willing to live outside the city because of how convenient and productive traveling is. And this is how we plan to create a disruptive business model to leverage your five years in a car. Thank you very much.